County is experiencing a gypsy moth outbreak. They're everywhere and county officials say this all happened so fast they couldn't do anything to stop it. Fox 17 Julie Dunmeyer reports. Here in Bitely, a small unincorporated community in Nuego County, there's at least a hundred gypsy moths for every person. One woman I spoke to is fed up. In the middle of Rebecca Gizar's peace and quiet. I don't see it so beautiful anymore. <laughs> there's something lurking in the trees. We are being infested by gypsy moths. Not just the trees, on her roof, on her husband's tractor tires, and crawling across her shoes. They're very disgusting. Nasty, gross, and invasive. I've never seen them before, ever, in my life, this bad. I've seen them, but not like this. But worse than that, these gypsy moths are ruining her trees. This one would have gave us apples this year, and I was so excited to get my honey crisp. But no, no harvest this year. Fall colors, forget about it. Most of her trees have no leaves. And they're just eating all our beautiful trees. If that wasn't the worst part, they're just plain creepy. Bunch of Dawn in there in a squirt bottle and just shot them and hoped that they would die. And I've got the holes and sprayed them off the house, but uh, they didn't die. One tried to hitch a ride with me back to Grand Rapids. Too bad, buddy. These things gotta go, says Rebecca. It was so pretty, so bright and so green. It was doing really well until these guys came and took it over. Anyone with ideas on what to do with all these gross things, Rebecca is open to help. Reporting in Bitely, Julie Dunmeyer, Fox 17 News. Researchers with the Michigan State University Department of Entomology have created an app to help you track invasive species like gypsy moths. The Mycin smartphone app provides a way for you to track data throughout the Midwest. You can play an important role in the early detection and rapid response to new invasive threats in your area by contributing invasive species observations to the database. It has a species catalog you know, that's present in it, and those are broken down by plants and animals, and then, you know, whether they're trees, they're vines, um, whether they're animals, um, whether it's aquatic. So you can, you know, you can search through, um, you know, hundreds and hundreds of species pretty efficiently. And gypsy moth has been present in Michigan since the 50s. Um, and we've had, you know, a fairly uh, entrenched, you know, population for probably three decades. So it's not a new species, you know, to us. Um, it does, you know, kind of blow up, you know, periodically. And I think that's certainly what we've experienced this year. The app is available in the App Store for both Android and Apple phone users.